Thank you. Now for our dedication uh, ceremony. Mr. and Mrs. W. H. Cochran came to Hines to Junior College in 1930. Mrs. Cochran was Emma Grace Berry from Utica. And she majored in mathematics at Hines. W. H. was a star athlete who came to us from Richmond to play basketball. They met during their freshman year at Hines and both were outstanding students. I'm so far that he had came to Senator Cochran to say, if it wasn't for Hines, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> After graduating from Hines in 1932, they attended Mississippi College together and married in August 2nd, 1933. In 1983, Mr. and Mrs. Cochran were named Hines Junior College Alumnus of the Year, the first couple in the history of the college to be so honored with the Alumnus of the Year award. As Hines County Superintendent of Education, Mr. Cochran also served on the Board of Trustees of Hines Junior College. In addition, Mr. Cochran served in the Hines Junior, on the Hines Junior College Development Foundation, as well as he and Mrs. Cochran were the first, among the first donors to the Development Foundation. Mr. Cochran gave 44 years of his life to the service of Mississippi. In 1986, Mr. and Mrs. Cochran scholarship was established through the Community College Foundation in memory of them. So today, Hines Community College will memorialize to the late W.H. and M. Grace Cochran, parents of U.S. Senator Thad Cochran and Public Service Commissioner Nielsen Cochran, adding the family name to Kane Hall on Raymond campus. I'm delighted that our Board of Trustees decided to distinguish this building as King Cochran Hall. Between the two of them, the Cochrans gave a total of 85 years of service to the people of Mississippi in various leadership roles and certainly raised a distinguished family that continues to serve the state and country. Certainly, it's only fitting that the new signature facility on the Raymond campus bear the name King Cochran. Would members of the Cochran family please stand and be recognized? Thad Cochran, the older son of W.H. and Emma Grace, is a senior United States Senator from the state of Mississippi. He was the first Republican to be elected in 1978 to a statewide office in Mississippi. And thank goodness he continues to serve in that position. He's chairman of the Senate Subcommittee for Agriculture Appropriation and serves on many other various important committees uh, to us in the state of Mississippi. I remember a number of years ago when I called him and asked him could I come to see him, I wanted to bring his daddy, Mr. Bennett, with me to talk to him about a project. Senator Cochran said, why I don't bring my daddy, Mr. Bennett, you just tell me what you want. So <laughs> Obviously, that resulted in a proposal which he personally sees today that continued uh, better than $2 million a year going to help rural Mississippians to have a better quality of health care. In fact, Senator Cochran, since that date, I figured it up the other day, we received over $18.6 million. We won't tell all the rest of them to know about that, but... That is a great thing of far. Dad was born in Pontotoc, where his mother and daddy first started teaching in, in that county. And he earned 
bachelor's degrees at Ole Miss and studied international law. So one of the things that I also would like to say, especially thank you, Senator Cochran, for his leadership in successfully gaining $2 million appropriation for the rebuilding of this building. Nielsen Cochran, the youngest son of W.H. and Emma Grace, was also born in Pontotoc, Mississippi, in 1941. His family then moved to Byron in 1946, where he graduated from high school. He's a former professional baseball player for the Baltimore Orioles. He attended Mississippi College and Northern State College in South Dakota. Nielsen was elected to the Jackson City Commission in 1977 and re-elected in 1981. He was then elected Central District Public Service Commissioner in 1983 and is currently serving his fourth term. He has also served on the Hines Community College Development Foundation Board of Directors. He also sent me two fine sons out here to play baseball in hands. So let's welcome the Cochran Brothers. Thank you very much, Dr. Hughes. Thank you for your generous remarks about the Cochran family. We thank you also for your leadership here at Hines Community College. It's because of your diligent and effective efforts to rally support for the reconstruction of Kane Hall that we are able to be here today to celebrate the completion of this important project. Our family is deeply grateful for the honor you have bestowed on the memory of our parents. William Holmes Cochran and Emma Grace Berry Cochran. When Dad was recruited to come to Hines and play basketball, he was given a scholarship, which meant he was assured of a job working on the cottage farm to help pay his expenses through Hines. He would tell us often about his interesting experiences of getting up every morning and milking cows and plowing a field with a mule occasionally. And these stories were always very interesting, even though I sometimes wondered whether they were all totally true. <laughs> but not to be outdone, Mother would also talk about how she had to get a job too, and she worked here in the dining hall to help pay her way through school. And I remember her recalling one day that money was so scarce that she had written a letter home and didn't have enough money to buy a stamp to mail it. And I thought, I'm not sure I believe that either. <laughs> and it was only 12 miles to where she lived. But the fact was, they really did work hard and persevere and were very diligent in doing what they had to do to get an education. Times were tough back then in the depths of the Depression, and their examples of resourcefulness and determination to get an education in spite of serious obstacles was very impressive to me. Their loyalty to Hines over the years was also a constant reminder to me of their love and appreciation of this place. They fell in love with Hines and with each other when they were students here. So Nielsen and I truly do owe our very existence to Hines Community College. And it's heartwarming to be able to help ensure that this campus will continue to enrich the lives of students for many generations to come. And to know that our parents' example of perseverance in pursuit of higher education will be part of that legacy. Thank you very much.
Yes, Dad is three years older than I am. <laughs> Always seems to be brought up. Who's the oldest? He has more hair on his head, too. <laughs> Y'all may have noticed out front there's two live oak trees. Been there for years, and that's where Mother and really, when she starts reminiscing, says that that is where she and Dad first made Whoopi. <laughs> I never asked her her definition of whoopee. <laughs> but Dad insists that it was where they held hands and kissed for the first time. <laughs> well, if they were here today, I'm sure both would say whoopee. <laughs> they dedicated their lives to education here in Mississippi. And we are very proud and honored to have our name permanently associated with this fine institution. To Dr. Muse and Hines Community College, thank you for remembering Mother and Dad.